Yo, welcome to Romance of the Three Games. We've got a jam-packed episode today, so let's get started. First up is the next stage in Wu's Musu mode. It's the second level of Act 5. The story here tells us uh, that last time we destroyed the enemy forces at Fan Castle, which we saw, and supposedly most of the enemy troops were at Heifei, which we'll be seeing next week. Then it says that the Wei forces are now uh, so careless as to be played into ambushes, and that's what we're going to be seeing in this week's battle, if I can get it to trigger. It's the Battle of Shi Ting, the hilariously named battle. They decided to put a space in there, it's actually uh, no space, no space whatsoever, it's uh, just the Battle of Shi Ting. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the stage. I was all set for equipment, let's have a look at the objectives. We have to defeat Sima Yi, who's just at the end of this fairly linear stage, and defend Lu Xun at the top. Strangely, there are two wings coming off his camp, uh, so I was a little bit suspicious that something was going to happen with those wings, and we'll find out later on. We've got a small force with a fairly low morale uh, units. The enemy has a couple, however, Zhou Fang is going to be defecting to our side, in theory. I believe our commander Lu Xun is going to explain the plan when the battle starts. Had to come back and check uh, what exactly the morale of the officers were just now so I could uh, formulate my plan. I decided just to rush forward at the beginning of the battle, I think that um, basically would be fine. And luckily that turned out to be a good idea, as we'll see. Wait until Zhao Feng lures Kao Shu. Lord Kao Shu, I swear on the lives of my family that what I speak is from my heart. Lord Zhao Fang, I shall trust your words. So basically what's happening is, well, this person they're calling Zhao Fang, who is actually Zhou Fang, uh, is luring um, one of the enemy commands towards one castle at the top to uh, be ambushed by the Wu forces. And we see here that Zhuo Kui is actually aware that some sort of ambush might happen, which is uh, it's a nod to the tale in the actual Romance of the Three Kingdoms. What I have to do is uh, get to Zhuo Kui and take him out before he links up with the forces who are going to be ambushed and uh, tells them it's going to happen. So after much running, I did actually manage to catch up with him and here I am uh, just taking him out. Zhuo Kui actually did inform uh, the Wei forces of the ambush uh, in real life, while in the, uh, the real story. But they just ignored him. Uh, and I think he took no further part in the campaign, but later uh, become, became very well respected for having known that there was going to be an ambush. Anyway, I wasn't quite sure what to do next, but a little bit later one of my units got defeated, uh, and this would allow the enemy to move into the ambush zone. So that was quite useful. I think I was supposed to let that guy die uh, so that the forces would go and be ambushed. I kind of walked up to just see what was going on in this uh, supposed ploy. The enemy officers were just running around. One of the subordinate officers came towards me and started challenging me to a fight, so I thought, well, what can be the harm in uh, fighting this guy? I'm sure it won't ruin the ploy. <laughs> it's giving me a little bit of a run for my money. But then, sure enough, the ploy triggers. It's ambush time. A little too easy. Now, we must first take out the commander, Kao Shu. So there we go, the Wu ambush triggers, and Zhao Fang, as they keep saying, uh, comes onto our side. <laughs> It's funny how the spelling of the name is changing in the text, uh, the text alerts at the bottom all the time. I think they were a little confused as to what his name actually was. Anyway, uh, once the ambush triggered, uh, basically took out all those forces with ease. However, then this happened. Units of uh, enemy reinforcements arrived from both flanks of one castle at the top. Um, it would have been more of a threat to uh, our commander Lu Xun, but he'd already moved out of the castle. However, they're still going to be determined to end the battle by defeating Lu Xun. I ran north into the castle to uh, attempt to stop them. I encountered the unit of Kao Zhang, which had maximum morale, so it was pretty important for me to take out this unit as soon as possible. I just rushed straight forward to the commander, absolutely decimated him with Zhou Tai's very effective Musu, and there you go. However, the other officers had uh, just kind of run away from me, so I had to start chasing them. They were actually fighting with Lu Xun, so I chased after them. One of them was Zhen Ji, also on full morale. She was seeking revenge for the events at uh, Fan Castle. Unfortunately, she will not be getting this revenge. Uh, she actually went down much easier in this stage than she did in the last stage, so... 
I guess she's uh, getting weaker and weaker. How irritating. <laughs> irritating indeed. So once she pops off, there was still another enemy officer attacking my commander. So I'm going to have to deal with him as well. In fact, uh, some of the troops around here belong to the unit Man Chong. And he actually isn't around here. So I'm going to encounter an issue that if I leave, Lu Xun is going to die because these troops belonging to Man Chong uh, will kill him. However, Man Chong himself is uh, quite far away on the map. Uh, so either I can stay here forever fighting a never-ending stream of troops, or uh, try and make Lu Xun survive for just a few minutes so I can rush off and take out the officer, thus demoralizing the troops and making sure he doesn't die. Eventually, I was forced to go for that strategy. You can see here I've uh, cleared as many of the troops as I could be bothered in the area of Lu Xun. And I also sealed one of the nearby strongholds, which reduced the number of enemy troops coming in. There's still a couple more groups of troops coming down, but I thought, ah, oh, Lucian can survive for a while, and just rode off back to the castle. Man Chong was still here. I don't know why he didn't attack uh, with the rest of his allies. He just he seemed to be very enthusiastic about killing some uh, some stragglers back here. I decided to hunt him down and uh, give him a little bit of punishment for threatening our commander. All the while, on the south side of the map, uh, the rest of the allied units were trying to attack the enemy main camp. But the enemy has really high morale and they were just being completely destroyed. So I was a little bit worried that the rest of my force would be defeated because it was taking me so long to save the commander. And uh, I believe at least one of the units actually does die. Regardless, I eventually uh, jacked this horse and managed to come down. Zhang Hei was wreaking a little bit of havoc on the other side of the bridge towards the enemy camp. So I had to deal with him first and foremost. In the real story of uh, the Battle of Shi Ting, uh, Zhou Fang actually uh, cuts off his hair in order to convince Cao Shui that he is going to defect <laughs> because Zhao Fang was... Uh, oh no, I'm saying Zhao Fang. Zhou Fang was very there famous for his beautiful locks of hair. Looks like Zhang Hei here has some beautiful locks of hair as well. The real life battle was a complete success uh, for the Wu forces. Lu Xun became extremely famous because of his strategies in this battle. To uh, just dispatch Xin Pi, who was one of uh, Sima Yi's subordinate units, he uh, didn't have much of a chance. He must have flown about, I don't know, 20 meters with that final blow. He's having a, uh, a really bad day. Finally, after seeing a few gates and taking out a whole bunch of enemy troops, all that was left uh, was to kill Simi himself. Simi tried to shoot me with his lasers, but I somehow managed to get behind him and they all missed. <coughs> Everything starts exploding suddenly, not 100% sure what was causing those explosions. I think there were some uh, enemy bombardiers hidden around that I just haven't noticed. But uh, unluckily for Simi, I can unleash the full strength of my Musu Bar, finish him off, which is always awesome. And there we go, a victory for the Wu forces. I got rid of him. So let's have a look at the little replay. <laughs> First we see me chasing up the Zhua Kui, take him out easily. The ambush triggers just about now and then uh, Kao Shui goes down pretty easily. Then the second enemy ambush triggers. Uh, that was a little bit cheeky from then, especially Man Chong staying behind. There was a risk of Lu Xun dying. You can see his morale is extremely low on the top left hand corner, so any enemy troops could have killed him. Uh, luckily, he got away with it. I was able to rush forward. It looked like Quan Zhang and Zhu Huan. I uh, know oh just Quan Zhang died uh, fighting Zhang Hei. Uh, Zhu Huan died earlier. Anyway, I then fought through the enemy main camp, killed Simi Yi, and uh, victory was ours. Not the easiest of levels, but then not too tricky either. The set of items we got as a reward were, well, pretty much useless. Not very interesting, but I got quite a lot of experience, which is something, and got a rank up as a result. Lovely jubbly. My weapon got loads of experience and just about made it to the next level. I now have the um, the Dawn level 7 sword, so I've unlocked some new attacks for Jotai, which we will surely be seeing next week. Anyway, it's time to move on to extreme mode. This was a, a very curious stage this week. Uh, let's get into it. You can see I'm actually starting on relatively low health because of my Peacock Urn uh, increasing the size of my health bar so much. This top stage is the one I'm going for. It looks very interesting. As well as being my own home territory, it said a monster is terrorizing the people here. And I thought, well, that sounds good. Uh, if anyone can take on a monster, it's Lu Bu, who is pretty much a monster himself. So we came into the shop. Uh, they were selling things at a cheaper price. 
because um, it said it was closing down or something. I bought some Dim Sum, which further increases the size of my life bar. An escort contract, so I'm going to have a merchant following me around and hopefully he won't die. Considered buying these conscripts uh, <laughs> quite a long time, decided not to. There were these two allies, Zhang Liao and Zhang Wei, available to uh, purchase. I decided to take them both. That way I have the maximum amount of officers you can have following you, which is three. Uh, these guys are going to be pretty useful in the battle and pretty annoying. Um, depends how you interpret it, Will. I'll see what I mean when I'm in there. <laughs> I reconsidered again buying conscripts, but I just thought they're probably going to be completely useless. Um, I'd rather just save the unit slot and maybe buy an elite unit later on. Almost bought some health as well, but I thought, no, I'm too cool for health. Anyway, so here's the battlefield. It's pretty much the full version of the Huang Zhong battlefield, um, which is kind of pointless because almost no enemy units are going to... Actually, no enemy units at all are going to be in the, the bottom half of the map. It's just there for fun. Here we see I'm equipping the Tiger Amulet level 12, which I got last week, which I was extremely happy about. So this uh, gives me a large bonus to my attack damage, which is going to be, well, more helpful than I can describe. One allied unit is on the map, uh, he is going to be absolutely no help whatsoever, and three enemy units to begin with. This unit, however, is characterised, this map, sorry, is characterised by the fact that it has constant enemy reinforcements, so we'll see them a bit later on. First of all, I just had to take out a few enemies in my vicinity and go looking for health in the, uh, the fortress that I began in. I actually found some health very early on, here we go. There we go, right from the beginning, uh, my health bar is looking a little bit more full now. Pretty good news, let's see whether I managed to keep it full uh, for the duration of this battle. So I rode on, there was an invisible horse barrier, so I had to abandon my horse. And uh, I encountered these two enemy officers, turned out to be three enemy officers because another one uh, appeared in the background. So I had to be a little bit careful. I was actually uh, doing a little bit worse in this level than usual, uh, simply because it's been an extremely long time since I played uh, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, since I filmed the last episode, basically. I filmed that episode over a month ago. So, for example, we saw I was pretty late on the uh, triggering of the Musu there when I was being attacked. I did get back into it by the time I finished playing the stage, but uh, for the beginning, my performance was a little bit worse than normal. For which, I can only apologise. Now, Zhang Liao is uh, determined to try and kill steal me by the looks of things. I'm getting a little bit interrupted by the fact that so many enemy officers are just pouring into the mix and I keep getting hit by them as well. Zhang Liao eventually does kill steal me, he kills Huang Zhu. How annoying of him. I believe uh, someone else might have got a kill still on there just now as well. I wasn't watching. There you go, Zhang Wei killed Han Meng as well. So, my two new allies have killed stolen me twice. Let's see if I can get this kill. Oh no I can't, the lightning got the kill. So all three of those enemy officers were defeated, not by me. I got all of the stat drops, but I didn't get the experience or weapon experience. And now we see the big problem with this stage. There are juggernauts attacking me. Juggernauts are ridiculously powerful. So I just ran away from them, so I just ignore them for now. However, my allies decided not to ignore them and actually just got stuck fighting the juggernauts uh, for an extremely long time. They decided not to bother following me and just fight them. I tried to move forward, however, Cow Cow and a bunch of enemy officers moved forward to challenge me. I ran back and drew off just one of the enemy officers, Shahu Mao. Managed to take him out pretty easily. You can see the merchant here has lost about a third of his health. He's actually taking some damage um, from all this fighting. I think the Juggernauts might have got him. Ah, Zhang Wei is finally joining me. Liu Bei is still back uh, <laughs> fighting the Juggernauts. I just saw him nearly die in the background. Here's one of the Juggernauts. Oh god, it hit me. Oh, it hit me again. This is outrageous. And then I got caught in this little trap. I'm sort of being juggled by all these enemy units, being hit by arrows, being hit by the kind of horse, being hit by the juggernaut. I try and use my moose to take up the juggernaut, but it's not powerful enough, it hits me again. And I was just like, oh god, it hits me again. And I was just like, screw this. So, sorry about that, guys. Look at my life bar. It's just gone. Oh, there goes some more of it. Uh, I decided I needed to get out of just as far away from this whole situation as I could. I decided to make my escape. However, there were just archers everywhere. There's like 15 archers positioned here and another enemy officer. I thought, well, since there's this little fortification here, I can sort of turf myself up in the corner and possibly uh, direct all the enemies onto my blade. It seems that Cow Cow, the enemy commander, has also decided to take an interest in me, and so I'm now fighting with the enemy commander, two enemy officers, and, uh, well, just an infinite amount of troops. I decided to escape through this gate, but there was like just yet more ranks of archers and another enemy officer so this escape was not going well I ran past all of them and finally I was in something which might be called safe ground <coughs> Ooh, a pot since I'd lost so much health I really wanted to find some more 
meat buns. We've got a message there from Zhang Wei. He's dying. He's uh, still off fighting the juggernauts, no doubt. I think Liu Bei actually did die during the stage. Uh, if it hasn't happened already, it's about to happen. There you go. <laughs> well predicted, he died just now. So Liu Bei has been routed. It's just by Dai Lai Dongshu there. Dongshu, was it? This enemy officer started retreating because he was a subordinate officer of Cheng Yin. But I decided to uh, chase him down because I felt like I deserved the, the experience and stand up for killing him. A little bit irresponsible because uh, Zhang Liao and Zhang Wei are still off getting killed in the background. And it looks like one of them has finally come to join me. There you go, it's Yang Wei, he found me. Looks like Cao Cao, the enemy commander, is still chasing me. Take out a bunch of his bodyguards, but I'm not too interested in defeating him just yet, because I felt like there might be some more health, basically. I wanted to keep searching the stage for health. Still being completely swamped by enemy troops as well. Fought my way through, and then spent a couple of minutes looking around for health. Came across another enemy officer while I was at it, so I decided to take him out. And now this is a little bit more like the, uh, the sort of Lubu performance I would have expected myself to provide completely dominating the enemy units, not giving them a single chance to hit me and destroying the enemy officers and there's a beautifully timed Musu uh, stopping the hit. Although the <laughs> last blow of the Musu missed all the enemy troops which is a bit embarrassing. But apart from that, uh, that's more like the performance I'd like to see. Still, look at that health bar. It must have halved in size from the beginning of the battle. That is not good. I haven't done this badly since the very first stage. I think uh, next week I am actually going to have to buy some health in the shop, especially because as you can see here, Zhang Wei is almost dead as well. Looks like Zhang Liao has taken quite a pounding. So for the sake of my new allies and for my own sake, perhaps I'll actually bother to buy some health with the huge amounts of money I've been accruing. You can see here that Kao Kao himself is going down, but Zhang Wei uh, knocked Kao Kao into me and took off some more of my health. Now this is a betrayal that I did not expect to come from Zhang Wei. Very annoying. Kao Kao is proving very difficult to kill. You can see he has almost no health. But because my allies keep knocking away from me, I can't hit him. And because of how the game works, the allies can't damage him when he's on low health because he's the enemy commander. Which means it's just extending this fight more and more and he keeps damaging my allies, damaging me and killing my troops. So I was getting really annoyed at this. Finally I managed to actually hit him with something and he dies instantly. Luckily the merchant survived as we saw, so that's a thousand points, <laughs> and Lubu does a little jump for joy. So overall, a mixed bag of a stage. We've got lots of enemy officer kills, and lots of uh, stat ups, but uh, we lost a lot of health as well. Let's see the items. Ooh, that is good. we got a, a very nice upgrade to the torture amulet, so that's a good item drop. An upgrade to the Vorpal Orb, less interested in that, but still good. Oh, and an upgrade to the Tiger Amulet. That was a really good selection of items, so that's definitely improved, uh, <laughs> improved my opinion of this performance. A kind of average amount of experience would have been a lot more if I'd killed those three officers near the beginning. They hadn't been kill stolen from me. My weapon gets a whole ton of experience and upgrades to the Sky Piercer, the level 7 weapon. So now I'm going to have some extra attacks with Lubu. He's going to be even more formidable. In terms of money, I got an absolutely gargantuan amount, nearly 10,000 gold, bringing my total up uh, to nearly 50,000. I am now rich. So now we move on to Empire's mode. I can see from last time, uh, when Sho isn't here anymore, so I only have two people uh, to give me advice on what to do. I decided to go with Sun Quan's advice because it involved hiring right Zhu Rong as a new general. So basically Zhu Rong is going to be the replacement for Wen Sho. She's level 3, so she's not bad, but she has uh, no troops, but that's not going to stop me using her in the coming battle. First I had to decide what I wanted the coming battle to actually be. I decided I wasn't going to go up against Lu Bu again because that was just getting ridiculous. I wanted to uh, have a little bit of change of scenery. So my other options were to attack Dong Shui's other territory, attack Tian Shui here or attack Liu Bei. I decided in the end it would probably be best to attack Tian Shui because it was a slightly uh, a weaker territory. So I thought it would probably be easier to actually win this battle and make some progress. Uh, rather than uh, constantly be facing setbacks uh, by just being defeated by Lu Bu or something. <laughs> I take the lieutenant selection which gives me the maximum amount of troops, including good old Yu Mi. We still have fewer troops than the enemy, but Yan Mei should be able to make up for that herself. You can see here I've got my uh, level 8 weapon, the Holy Avenger, which is just a ridiculously sized sword, so we're going to be doing some serious damage to the enemy with this. I considered taking some items for this stage, but in the end I uh, decided against it. I thought it's probably not going to be that hard. I won't need them. Let's see what the uh, unit setup is like. Our own army has a sort of four or five morale, not bad. Yumi a little bit more enthusiastic than he was last time. 
The enemy army has quite a lot of morale actually, so initially they had the advantage. However, I think their morale was sapped quite quickly uh, in the beginning, so we're going to have a good time as the battle commences. First off, I had to rush forward and take out Zhang Lu. You can see here he just ran away, so it actually wasn't a very interesting battle. Didn't manage to defeat him. So I had to chase him towards the enemy base uh, he was running into, but then uh, another enemy officer, Niu Jin, emerged from the base on horseback, so I had to fight him. However, as you see here, I actually... Uh, can't get him off his horse. He's completely owning me from up there on the horse, and I just can't get him off. God damn it! <laughs> this was extremely frustrating. Finally, I managed to hit him in the foot, and he falls off. Which will give me an opportunity to actually finish him off properly. Throughout this stage, the archers were being super annoying. I got actually very frustrated and angry playing the stage. Uh, for a number of reasons. One of them was the fact that the enemy archers were firing so quickly and accurately that it was just, just almost unbearable to move around anywhere because you was being hit by arrows all the time. Anyway, I pushed forward uh, after capturing that base and defeating Niu Jin to the next base. That's where Shang Lu turned out to have run to, so now I get to fight him a second time. This time I'm going to uh, finish the job and actually take him out. Meanwhile, my allies on the east side of the map had pushed up and, and captured a base, I believe. So we were making some uh, fairly good progress. <coughs> Excuse me. So Zhang Lu is down. And I just, uh, I captured that base and then moved on to the base to the east. However, Zhu Rong ran off on her own to attack the enemy main camp. And now you can see she is struggling uh, against actually a couple of enemy officers respawned and started attacking her. So Zhu Rong was in massive trouble. I captured this base which cut off one of the enemy officers from supply. So I thought I'd try and take the opportunity to go and capture him. Here he is, it's Hu Shei Er. Now unfortunately for me, Yan Mei is actually quite bad at doing these little capture maneuvers. Because if something like what just happened, I got hit by an enemy troop, happens, then I'm too slow to catch up with him. And now he can just run away at his ledger. I'll never catch him. So, my plan to uh, sneakily take out Hujia ended in failure. But that wouldn't stop me attempting to chase him at least. I ended up chasing him uh, towards the north side of the map where I encountered Yan Feng. So, I basically just allowed him to get away then and decided to focus my attention on defeating Yan Feng. At the same time, Niu Jing kills Zhu Rong off on the west side. She had no troops, which means she can't retreat when she's defeated. Uh, she is just defeated permanently. So Zhu Rong is gone. I'm going to have to fight this battle without her. Also, it means there's nothing stopping Niu Jin moving down and uh, capturing one of my bases. Now, if I had been actually playing the game properly, I probably would have gone to stop him. But I was feeling a little greedy. I just rushed forward and captured another enemy base and decided to go into the enemy main camp rather than defending my own camps. When I got in there, I finally caught up with Hu Shei er and managed to take him out. So that's got rid of him, finally. And of course, he will be back. And then Zhang Lu appears for uh, the second time. Deciding he wanted a little rematch from earlier, so I had to quickly deal with him. At the same time as I'm doing this, uh, Niu Jin to the south is rampaging through my bases and troops. So I was kind of aware of that and wishing to go down and, uh, and stop them. My strategy was that I would capture the base immediately outside the enemy main camp. So this would cut off the entire map from the enemy's supplies, basically, and mean that my own troops would have uh, an easy time. However, this base proved impossible to take. The troops were just so aggressive. I, this lieutenant general was really whomping on me, and plus I was getting hit by arrows the whole time. And then around the same time as I was doing this battle, uh, Yan Feng ran up to challenge me, and I just thought, no. I need to get out of the red territory because it powers up the enemy forces if you're in the red territory. What's the matter? Do I scare you? Managed to run all the way south <laughs> to one of my bases. Yan Feng starts doing an insult which could have very much been applied to me since I've been running away from him. It turned out it was actually at Sun Quan. Sun Quan takes his bait, however, he's not going to get caught in the trap because I'm going to be killing Yang Feng uh, right now. You can see Niu Jin has uh, basically swooped around and taken all of the bases that I took back. So. Over the last 10 minutes of me playing, I made a lot of back progress, basically. Um, but I did defeat a number of enemy officers, so the, the troop balance is now in our favour. We have more troops than the enemy at this stage. Yan Feng was defeated. Oh, look at these archers. They're just completely destroying me. And then, yeah, I just had to take back uh, this base and start working my way around, uh, taking back all the bases that the enemy just took back. 
I had to face Hu Chea and Zhang Lu uh, simultaneously, so I guess after facing them one at a time in the enemy camp, they decided that they'll team up against me to take revenge. However, even together, they're not particularly powerful, and as you can see here, I'm able to take them and a whole bunch of their troops out uh, with relative ease. You can also see my kill count is getting really high. I've been working very much uh, all throughout this level to reduce the enemy's uh, troop numbers and because there's been so many enemy officer respawns and a base is changing hands more than once I actually racked up a very large kill count. So with those officers defeated I had to rush back uh, to my the newly reclaimed base on the west side where New Jim was trying to take it again but then Yang Feng rolls up and just decides to challenge me to a duel so I was like okay fine this is an opportunity to take Yang Feng out of the picture uh, for the rest of the level. <laughs> that is one big sword. If I was Yan Feng, I'd be scared of Yan Mei, but he uh, seems pretty confident. We immediately enter into a weapon deadlock. I win, and now the killing can begin. I keep missing with uh, Yan Mei's second charge attack. It's extremely powerful. It does way more damage than you think it is, just poking them with the end of your sword very lightly. Uh, so it's a very good attack, but it's really hard to hit. A level 5 charge attack, which what I just did, is very similar, only it ends with a throw. Which is quite cool, I guess. He blocks the arrows I fire at him. And now I was getting conscious of the time limit, because we're actually, uh, the duel's almost over, so I need to kill him quickly. Decided to just do it with my Musu when I realised that we both had full Musu bars. And there we go, Yan Feng has been defeated. Lovely jubbly. So now I just cleared out a whole bunch of enemy troops around here. Oh yes, finishing off Niho Jin as well, I forgot about him almost. There he goes. Now the situation has stabilised. We've captured um, back all the bases that we lost. Mahjong captures one of the other bases for me. So now we're ready for a more comprehensive assault in the enemy main camp. I rushed up. Huchea was there again, so I had to take him out. There we go. Got rid of him. Almost up to 500 kills now. <laughs> really rampaging through the enemy army. You can see in the top right, the enemy army has almost no troops left. I um, the, the bar was full at the beginning of the stage, now it's almost empty. Zhang Lu on the enemy's command stage decides to uh, offer me a duel. And I say fine, I imagine Zhang Lu will be even easier to defeat than Yang Feng. I thought might as well uh, do it, even though the stage is about to end. Maybe you get extra experience or something for winning duels, I don't know. It's more interesting anyway to find an officer in a duel. Even though fighting him in the field is effectively the same, just with some troops getting in the way, he'll inevitably just die because you're killing them by accident. Getting lots of hits in, but his health going down pretty slowly. Still plenty of time left. He really cheekily knocks me down there, and again, these uh, rapid jumping attacks. He starts hitting me, and I decide to just uh, have zero tolerance policy and hit him with my Musu. He's nearly dead, just need to finish him off. I was really worried just then that he was going to use his true Musu on me, because he really should have, uh, but he didn't, so I was able to defeat him <laughs> without any risk of being uh, counter-attacked. So there you go, all that was left was the captain of the enemy main camp, came up um, onto their little command stage, they had a, a few troops knocking about, take them out, and there we go, the stage is won. I don't know what my troops there were doing, just running around in circles around the podium. I guess they were just uh, so joyous that we'd won the battle. They wanted to run around me like a statue. Anyway, there we go. We've actually captured a territory this week, much better than last week's performance. A little bit of experience, and here we had quite heavy casualties, actually, probably because a lot of my officers uh, had sort of long, hard slogs for, for moving forward, so they probably lost a lot of troops in the process. Yan Feng, the officer I beat in the duel, was captured as has Tian Shui being captured for our empire. I decided I wasn't going to hire Yang Feng just because I have like enough lieutenants already that there's no particular advantage I don't think to having him in my force. I'd rather just keep the money so I can do more expensive policies. She's wrong leveled up. She's now level 4, still got no troops. Sun Quan also leveled up because I accepted lots of his proposals so he must be very happy about that. We'll see which proposal I accept here next week. So thank you for joining me for episode 13 of Romance of the Three Games. I thought we had some interesting stages today. Tune in next time where we'll be finishing off Act 5 of Lu's Musu mode, seeing if Lubu can buy some more health, and then trying to eke our way towards unification with the Yanmei's Empire. All that next time on Romance of the Three Games.